Growing up as Michael Jordan's son, man, it was relatively normal. You know, we would play video games, we got in the gym a lot. Uh, it was always competitive anytime we played in the gym. A lot of one-on-ones or games to 21, you know, but uh, other than that, it was trips to the movies, uh, family vacations, you know, relatively normal stuff. Father's Day was pretty typical for us. You know, we would wake my dad up. He was probably watching a Western movie or, or watching game footage, but uh, yeah, we would just plunker down beside him and, and watch footage, watch film, watch movies. It's, it's a lot of fun moments from Father's Day and from being real young and, you know, making handmade gifts to, you know, then growing up and figuring out, okay, what, what can I get dad for Father's Day? And it was more of a group effort uh, than anything else. So the main question is, what do you get someone as a gift that has it all? And I think it's three main tips that I like to think of when I'm shopping for a gift for my dad. Number one is be creative. Uh, obviously you can buy something out of the store or off the rack, but maybe a handmade gift is a better option or a custom card or something like that. Number two is put some thought into it. A lot of people give gifts that are just, oh, I just saw this on the internet or it was more of an impulse buy. I think if you, you know, start searching for something, set it down, come back to it. You can always, you know, get inspired by something you see in your day to day. And number three, and the most important thing is to make sure you have fun with it. My brother, my sister and I, we couldn't think of something, so we would always like to play pranks on my dad. One year it stands out vividly in my mind is my dad just really does not like snakes. And so my brother and I, we cooked up this great plan to plant some rubber snakes in his bed and not tell him. And one year he came in, saw the snakes, freaked out, and I, I know we got grounded for a couple of days, but it was, it was worth it because it's just a lasting memory that we have from over the years of growing up. So that's a fun fact that not really many people know. You know, now that we're all adults, it's, it's more about staying in communication. You know, I try to call my parents and my dad on a daily basis, if not a couple times a week. And I also like to get down to West Palm and play golf with my dad. Um, just talk about what's going on with the Hornets. You know, a lot of times there'll be deals or something going on behind the scenes that my dad's working on. And, you know, we get the opportunity to sit by him during these conversations. And so he, he likes to turn to us and, and just offer our advice or our opinion. I think the most important life lesson that my dad has really taught me over the years is just that hard work pays off. And I think that truly came to fruition a couple weeks ago when I opened Trophy Room. And you know, a lot of people think that I just open, or I say I want to open a boutique and I get handed over a store, but it was a lot of long nights and late hours and going back and forth on uh, build outs and just every little intricate detail of opening a retail store. And you know, my dad was there every step of the way giving me advice. And, to have him there at the grand opening a few weeks back was just, you know, uh, a testament to that. And so to share that moment with my dad and to obviously have Father's Day a few weeks later, I'm sure it's something that we're definitely gonna be reflecting on this weekend.